Welcome to your daily dose of dopamine. My name is Robert. You know Susan by now, but you may not know that pretty lady sitting next to her. What's your name? <laughs> what? That's Jean. Oh. That's my mom. Hi. Hi, Robert. Hi, Hi Jean. <laughs> and mom is the only person I know who's going to be turning 98 in a few weeks. In a few weeks. Wow. 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 <laughs> So re remember that, Robert, when you get to be 98, it is great. It is just absolutely wonderful. <laughs> I was going to say, tell me about turning 98. What are you thinking? What are you feeling right now? I guess. What are you thinking and what are you feeling right now? What am right I now? thinking and feeling? I am um, totally, I use, this is a word which is not ordinarily in my uh, vocabulary, blessed to be with my beautiful daughter, Susan, who is, I am my firstborn, who is special, as you know, Robert, above and beyond everything, um, <laughs> above and beyond, blah. And what else is going on besides having and What else is going on besides <laughs> that? Well, um, the other thing, which is very happy for me, Robert, a friend of mine, uh, quite some time ago, when I moved here, gave me a bubble wand, which like the kids use, which is like a foot long. And I blow bubbles every day, every night. And it is, and I told, uh, there's a psychotherapist who comes around periodically. And, and I said to her, Jill, you need to do, Susan, there's one already fixed. No, no, there's a long one in there. Yeah. Oh, These okay. Are you just keep talking to Robert. Okay, anyway, um, anyway. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Sorry, I said. There is, you know, you need to get all of these people that you talk to to blowing bubbles because it is so much fun. Mom actually wrote down back in the 70s, why can't we yes. have balloons at funerals? Why not have balloons at oh, funerals? Oh, sorry, yes. Right. And why it's, not, it's right. been expanded to bubbles and balloons bubbles because she really balloons. does blow bubbles every day, every day. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Yes, please. <laughs> There you go, mom, you rock. Those are spectacular <laughs> bubbles, Jean. It's amazing. Jean. These are great bubbles, wow. Can you tell me about the magic of bubbles or balloons? Why are they magic? Why are bubbles or balloons magic to you? They're not like anything else in life. You don't have to buy them. You don't have to eat them. <laughs> you don't have to do anything except pull the bubble wand out of the container <laughs> and uh, blow. So simple pleasures, simple joys, right? When it works. <laughs> when Woo! it works, right? And, and I'm cracking up because it looks like there's a halo with that reflection of the sun behind me in this. In this. Mom, you are amazing. Can no, you guys see wand. this? It's not me. Oh, it's, it's they're, they're, they're spectacular. You know, while we're at it, look at this. Uh, artwork in my mom's room. It's, it's, it's it's the just, art thing, thing, Robert, these are all things that I love that I've found over a period of time. Her Tibetan Farm flags. My Tibetan flags. My Dalmatian Chinese, puppies. My Chinese horses I bought in Japan. <laughs> I mean, in China. <laughs> and I know we are probably just about out of our five minutes, but oh my goodness. I appreciate this. It's just so much fun to think yeah. about. Well, Keep I want. I wanted to ask you, Susan, about what it means to celebrate joy, because I consider you kind of the, the harbinger of joy in my life. Uh, in many ways, you told me it needed to come forward and you've helped draw it forward. Tell me about joy and what you're experiencing with your mom right now. The pleasure of the positivity that emanates from this woman um, permeates whatever space she's in, whatever people she's with. And so it's, it's a, it is, I love being able to say this. It's, it's the norm for me, my, sorry, my, my experience of life really growing up with someone who, would, you know, who blew bubbles all the time. Uh, and we went on penny hikes. I told him. I was going to ask you, can you tell me about penny hikes? Because what, what is your what would penny you hikes where we'd be in the car and uh, we would, uh, I had an Indian head penny or a penny and I talked to the up and tails we go one way and heads we go the other way. And the furthest um, 
trip we took, we ended up in Southern Illinois. <laughs> had no idea where we were. <laughs> we had to stop I, thought we, I thought we were still in Indiana. <laughs> we stopped at a, and there was some uh, farmer mowing or doing, and I said, where are we? And he says, oh, well, you're in Illinois. And I said, oh my, okay. So we were near the Abraham Lincoln State Park. So we had to go over there. And do that. Yeah. So, you know, it's just following your heart and your impulse in the moment and giving yourself permission and to permission and not to, not to be afraid of, you know, if you stumble over a, a twig or you, you kick a rock or I also, I love sidewalks <laughs> and looking down, Robert, when you look down, a lot of people just walk and look straight ahead. If you look down the sidewalk, you see all kinds of things, you, you know, different uh, shapes and shadows. And I may have told you this, Robert, but in my life, I've never heard any expression more frequently than my mom saying to me, there's beauty to be found in everything. And right. I think you've known me long enough to see me exemplify that. But I literally, what mom was just saying about sidewalks and <laughs> cracks and, you know, we would talk about that stuff in the tar bubbles in the asphalt street you know we just found joy and beauty everywhere right i was raised raised with that and it looks like this when it's almost 98 <laughs> i'd love to I'd love to, close, I'd love to close with that just that there's beauty to be found in everything and highlight that and thank you yeah. for a you beautiful bet. daily dose thank you thank you thank you